Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play One Piece Bounty Rush on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install One Piece Bounty Rush and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play One Piece Bounty Rush. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to get started we need to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to see on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. We ended up right here on our site of Usatility, at which we find here a in-depth explanation on the way to download One Piece Bounty Rush on computer. We browse lower tad and simply click on the, download game on PC, button. Once we click on the link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we will run to play One Piece Bounty Rush on PC. As you can see from here we get several advantages of preferring that emulator. So we will proceed to download the One Piece Bounty Rush by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. The step is clicking on this button. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file, ok, then we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the system. We answered yes. I reduced the web browser to start to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is straightforward. It includes two choices, install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path really does. We simply just click it. And now we discover that we, VE got here the path where the emulator can be set up. If we would like to vary this folder we need to click on that, browse, option, and therefore we pick another folder and install the emulator specifically where we wish. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. I simply click back, and therefore I just click on install. Great. The install commences and it's going to progress together with the download of those MB which are shown on our computer screen. After you save it on your computer, it could be slightly more or less MB. The download speed will go faster or at a lower speed, based on your web access and according to the performance of the emulator web servers. Right away they're running extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you will notice, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator is going to be started for the very first time. The reality is the emulator is already launched, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can discover, it created a couple of app icons right here on the PC desktop. The blue stacks and blue stacks multi-instance. Note that the blue stacks icon is definitely the one we are concerned with. Anytime we desire to run One Piece Bounty Rush on the laptop or computer, we double-click this particular icon and launch the emulator. The blue stacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Blue Stacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should make the next phase, that is a requirement, and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To do that we will go here to, System Apps, we click on. And we are going to mouse click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. In this case we have got to sign in. At present the moment we are right here, we have to begin doing the next phase that is definitely absolutely mandatory. Therefore just click on, sign in. At this point it announces, checking info. It might from time to time get blocked in, checking info, and so it isn't going to continue. In that case, you should try to connect to your account after a couple of hours but it will surely most certainly be corrected. At this point we shall type our login name and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email address and its associated password. For instance you could use the very same email you're using currently in your own YouTube account. So I will insert my info and I will return after I have completed it. That's all. Information inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and supplying us their terms of service. We would say yes to all of them by simply pressing, I agree. After that, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You could let it selected it's going to produce a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. 
I will not select it, you can make use of this option if you like. We simply click on accept. The Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the app, we must visit the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on the app icon designated green colored. Today that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator, we notice that we come with right here the install video game option. We mouse click on that button. Right here we access to the Android game. Why don't we press right here on the install link that I am presenting now in green color. Therefore it will initiate the software setup. At present it would download and install the video game, it can take a little while or perhaps it might well be extremely fast. It again all varies on the internet connection. It's actually ended setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by hitting this option I'm emphasizing in green, if you want to run One Piece Bounty Rush for the first time. We're already on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're about to simply click on that new One Piece Bounty Rush icon that was generated. That Android game is launched for the first time on your device. Now there we get it, I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the sound level of this emulator. This is here, we have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this manner we won't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of this emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is simply the very first one, we mouse click on that icon which I'm identifying in green. Then the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. Supposing that we aspire to have fun with the video game using all the screen, we hit this particular app icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing the video game in 100% screen setting. To get out of the complete screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we might currently end up being in standard computer screen setting. At this moment I am ready to demonstrate you the computer keys mapping and that is actually quite exciting. That means we will probably be ready to make use of the game app a lot more easily. The first point is to press this keyboard icon. It's now time to complete the required configuration settings. Let me put the normal configuration, though if you plan to improve that, you can easily do it now without any problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. On occasion it happens that your emulator is started in the improper language, as an example, in Mandarin. Then to set it up in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. So right here throughout many other configurations, we just click on the language drop down. We should select the language we like, German, Japanese, and so on. After the language is selected, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, as well as the video game, next time we run it, would of course be in the octave for language. At this time, you will find another point that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Google indicating that a different electronic device has been associated with our own Google account. It is going to ask us if we're the individuals who have associated with that device. Absolutely, we shouldn't be troubled, as the emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. And then to identify which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, selection. And right here we notice that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for this video tutorial. I anticipate you enjoyed it particularly that everyone thought it was handy. In that case, offer it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, questions or ideas, leave them in the comment area down below. You may also leave a comment on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams every now and then, you get it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Check out any of the instructional videos that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and see you in the upcoming video game videos. Bye!